Scorpio, welcome to your April monthly reading. I'm Robin Carline from Robin's Authentic Tarot and thank you for visiting my channel. I am so super excited that it's April. New beginnings, new budding energy, really fast paced energy. Every day, Scorpio, when you wake up, the day is going to get faster. So there could be a little bit of overwhelm. There could be a little bit of um, kind of planning and, and a strategy um, because we're in this new era. <laughs> we're in this new beginning there's there's so much like we just we had the full moon in virgo so with that earth energy and allowing yourself to restructure so restructuring your energy and preparing for the new beginning the new beginning of the aries energy that we are currently in love that um so with that aries energy that's way too many cards new beginnings uh, new, um, it's, um, a, like, it's all, like first impressions again. So when you restructure, when you reboot, when you, um, evolve into this energy, there is, huh, there we go. That's the internal energy there. Um, there's so much shifting. There's so much shifting with your evolving and there's a lot of, here's your external. Yeah. So there's so much, there's so much energy that's here. That is your hopes, fears, and dreams for your outcome card. Let's see what you receive and we'll get into this reading. That is amazing. I love this. Um, I'm Scorpio as well. That's really high vibe. Wow. Okay, so starting off with my very favorite card in the whole entire deck. Now, <laughs> I love this because it is quick, quick, quick. And I love that it, it represents itself as nothing can stand in your way. And there is representing that there, there, there's a lot of really fast paced energy. We're in the fire energy right now. And with this energy, like I said, like, um, it's really quick. The energy is really quick. Every, every day when you wake up, it's going to be faster. And not just because we're in the fire energy, but because we're in a new era, because we're in the era of Aquarius energy. So you're going to be seeing a lot more stuff about space. You're going to be seeing a lot more stuff about technology. Um, but it also really in Scorpio, it really brings out the intuitiveness. It also brings out like there's so many messages that are coming to you. And so Scorpio is the most powerful sign. I'm Scorpio as well, is the most powerful sign in the Zodiac that I think because we are um, the the death card and the tower card that we're we're used to transition. So it's it's like this is this this can, this could be fun for us and very very exciting. So that's the energy that I'm going with. That's the energy that I'm feeling. Like I'm feeling so much excitement from this reading here. Now I did talk about a little bit of overwhelm. This shows up as the challenge card. So there there is still that energy of making those decisions and it could be a little bit uh scary that you're making decisions so quickly and you're not ready for it because we've been used to this this energy that's kind of in slower paced and you know we can we can hum and haw and we can kind of give give um our decisions a bit more time in this current energy right now again not like not focusing on the fire energy right now but focusing on the aquarian energy and like we're just in a completely different energy and so everything is going to keep coming faster and everything is going to, um, it, it's going to be like adapt, adapt, adapt. And so being Scorpio, yes, we are used to evolve, 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 adapt, adapt, adapt. But 
it could be like, okay, this is too quick. And that's why like strategy and planning and um, allowing yourself to say, okay, like with my water element, I'm going to flow, I'm going to flow and I'm going to allow things to show up exactly how they show up and just let it be. What comes to you? What comes to you? Sorry, I was just looking for a specific card there. Feel it. You have to really use your intuition. You really have to use your intuition for the decisions that come up. That's what this is about. Using your intuition to like the strengthened intuition from the because uh, there's there's that intellect. There's that that uh, crown chakra energy. There is the throat chakra. There is the third eye chakra and the crown. So this is all aligned with the air energy. And actually, in fact, this is perfect energy to manifest because with the Aries, that is the solar plexus. So that's that fire energy. That's that feeling. That's that willpower. That's, that's really like stepping out and allowing yourself to shine. So allowing yourself to step out and shine while you're speaking your affirmations and I'm awesome. I can do this. Um, I see with my mind's eye and I'm open to receive from source energy, from God, from, from spirit. So this, like, I'm really excited. I'm really excited. There's, there's so much, this is your belief. This is your belief energy. This is the queen. There is that beautiful, abundant energy. And I'm saying like very abundant. There's, there's like in this house. So until the, um, middle of April, so around maybe like the 20th, that's when we're going to be leaving the, we're going to be leaving the fire energy, but then we're going to be moving into the earth energy. So there's all this manifestation power because once we get into the, the, uh, earth energy for the latter part of April, that's the abundance. That's the abundance. So it's like when I talk about strategy, it's like prepping yourself, prepping yourself for the beginning of April, um, really saying, hey, you know what? I, I, I feel it. I know it. I know it. The intuitiveness of the queen, the deep knowing. There's that deep knowing. There's that deep trust. You know it. And that's why I'm saying like there's that with that belief energy, like that's the energy to adopt through the month of April is that I know it's going to work out. I know whatever my, my plans are. I know it. I trust it. I feel it. And that's where you want to be Scorpio. You want to be completely visualizing it. You want to be feeling it. So you have, you've got the feels, you've got the feels of the lower chakra energy. And then you have the knowing, the speaking, the affirming, the seeing, like visualizing it. Because when you visualize it, the your your brain your your subconscious doesn't know the difference between like and that's why like with movies and stuff like that so with movies you know we watch a scary movie and you're scared because your your brain does not know that it's not real so that's what manifesting is all about is visualizing it visualizing everything like the steps to get there knowing that it's going to happen. I'm I'm like so excited right now. Like I feel like I could literally like jump through the roof because um there I like I know it. I know it and I know it for you. There's such an intense strong energy right now. This is your root energy. This is the 4 of wands, the 4 of fire. Do you see that victory there? Do you see them celebrating there? Do you see that this represents 1111? That this represents that there's new path, new energy, new beginnings? This is so super exciting. This is amazing. Like here you have like quick, very positive energy. 
Yes, there can be a little bit of that overwhelm, but it's the adjusting. It's the adjustment to the energy. So that's what I feel is that there's that adjustment. But being Scorpio, we are the masters of evolving. We are the masters of, <laughs> of allowing this energy to say, okay, like that ended, goodbye. And now we're moving through this new energy. And so allow yourself to get really pumped up like get really pumped up because here you go. Like this is your belief and your root energy. So this is what it's all about. There is a, it's, it's all about that new path. It's all about that abundant energy. So that fire energy of you really showing up. So it's like you're prepping yourself. And then the latter part of April is about receiving is about that earth energy is about that beautiful abundant energy. So there is also your present energy and this present energy is a page card. So the page, it always represents there's new things that are coming. So with this, there is that new communication. There's that new speaking up for yourself. Perhaps there's that allowing yourself to really see those messages, really allow yourself to visualize Allow yourself to say, hey, you know what? I am receiving messages all the time. I am receiving information all the time. I do have that support. And then also visualizing and speaking, I am open to receive. So with your crown chakra, because all of this is air energy. So that's that Aquarian energy. So the, the new era that we are in. With that energy, the three, it's, it's affirming. Like I, I, I know I'm repeating myself, but repetition is amazing. Visualizing and being open. So say that you are open. This is all about like there's new mindsets, um, new ways of thinking, new perspectives. So um, for in our mind, we, we always receive uh, some negative um, mm, thoughts. So it would be kind of like that internal. And with that internal, there is the old programming of when something comes up like a, a new offer, because that's what this represents as well, that there's new offers that are, are coming to you. There's new information, new messages. Um, so what that means is that when that comes up, we can be conditioned of, oh gosh, no, that's not going to work out or that's too hard or something like that. Well, this energy, this renewal energy and evolving into this energy. And while you're in this fire energy, it is that willpower. It is that drive. It is that desire. It is that, yes, I can. So making sure that you are affirming, yes, I can. Yes, I can do it. Even though I just received oh my gosh, that's, that's scary. That's too much work. That's too much. Or really like where you may feel that you're putting yourself out there too much. You always have to step into something new and it's always terrifying. <laughs> and even for me, like all the time, it doesn't matter what level you're at, where you're at. It doesn't matter where you're at. It matters that no matter where you are, you have to you have to up it up. You have to like uh, level up and move into something new, step into something new. And that's what this is about. But there is that support. There is that support that's coming in from source energy. There's that new. So allow it, believe it, trust it. Trust, trust, trust. So you have the world and you have more pentacle energy as the page. So new offers that are coming up for you, Scorpio. This is amazing. This is amazing. And one after each other, right? So it's really cool that you receive this earth energy as the latter part. And as I was just explaining, the latter part when the earth energy, the pentacle energy, Taurus shows up at the middle end, the middle end of April. 
there is so much abundance. There are so many new offers, new things that are happening for you. Really allow yourself to be excited about it. Really take that action moving forward, positioning yourself for that. Again, the house, the astrological house that we're in, it's, it's impressions, first impressions. So really allowing yourself to be pumped up, really get into this fire energy, that air energy, that manifesting energy, that earth energy that's going to provide. It's so beautiful. And then here you are with the world coming full circle. This is, these are your future cards. This means movement. This also could mean travel of some sort. So <laughs> there is a lot of traveling and it can mean traveling in different ways. It can mean traveling in like a road trip. It can mean traveling as your job may, your job, your career may take you in a different position where you could be remote, which could take you um, technologically in other ways, or it could mean that there is that actual traveling that you uh, could be doing for your for your career. This is such a positive card. This is like full circle. That that cycle. It, it's it's meaning that like there's like this new cycle of energy. It's just, it's really, really beautiful. It also means that there's that success. There is like with the cycle, there's that completion of a cycle and there's achievement. So this is your future energy. I absolutely love this. This is so exciting. There is so much positivity for Scorpio as I see through here. Now for the next placement, we have kind of an awareness. Now we have another queen here and that is your energy. This is your intuitive energy, your strength. So your strength showing up as that queen energy. There is that trust, there's that knowing. I cannot express enough that knowing. Allowing source energy, allow spirit, allowing all the support that is around you to come to you abundantly and provide you with the most exciting messages. Like, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And yeah, like I can't even like spit out the words. Uh, it, it is absolutely an incredible feeling, an incredible feeling. April is going to be such a fantastic month for you, Scorpio. Now, with the Devil card, this is a major arcana card. This is the Earth energy. So what needs to happen here is there's something that you need to pay attention to and this is really going to help you advance, like catapult forward. So there is this chain here and this chain needs to be broken. So whatever it is that you need, like the devil always shows up as an awareness. So there's something that has to end. There's something that has to end. There's something that you need to let go of on a foundational level. So when I mean foundational, that's that earth energy. So there's that restructuring. You can let go of things whenever you want. There doesn't have to be a full moon. In fact, um, I think on the 1st of April, there is the new moon. So that's really exciting to set those intentions. So set those intentions for whatever it is that you know that you have to let go of. Being that foundational energy, it, it can mean a lot. It can mean from moving from a position. So moving from a job, uh, there could be definitely advancement into something else. There could be promotion in something. Now, 
that leads to and why I feel that this queen is here as well is that there could be definitely some emotional energy, but it's like, trust your intuition and know that it is the right decision for you to make. There could be a uh, loss of relationships. So that could be coworkers. It could also be a personal relationship that is ending, but that personal relationship that's ending, that could be something that you've had to be paying attention to and paying attention to like, you know, it's time. And in this energy right now in spring, if you are having doubts and I'm not saying um, like break up with someone and like, I'm just saying what I feel in the energy, but I'm feeling that for those of you that may be ready, or this could be like that confirmation, confirmation message that it is time to end something and really move on with yourself and your goals and your dreams. And it, it happens all the time. There are, there are people that come into our lives for a specific reason. And I do feel this for some of you. Uh, again, this is a general reading. So resonate and take what you want. But as that foundational energy, there is the job, there is the career, there is something that needs to change. There's something that you need that awareness of, and you know it. It's kind of like that, that, um, that annoying poking on the shoulder kind of thing. Like, hello, 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 like do this. And you might be putting it off. You might be procrastinating, but allowing yourself to stay stuck and stay behind is really not serving you in your future. So that's what I want to say about that. There's something definitely that could show up as an emotional thing, but I want to really just fortify that there's there's a lot of strength, there's a lot of intuitiveness. So whatever this decision is, it's something that you already know and that you already feel. That's what I'm getting. It's not like I'm it's not like this is a surprise or anything like that. I just feel that this is something for those of you that resonate to this that this is something that is that you know has been on its way and it's here and in this first cycle like with that with that Virgo full moon in other videos and, and things that I do, I, I say like, hey, you know what? Like the, the, the source energy spirit is saying like, it's time to let go and we're in this new cycle. Like it's like, it's like this happy new year. We have the, the we're in the first house of the astrological, of the astrological cycle. So that's really exciting. Like we're starting again from like square number one and we just well not even a square like from the pie you know the slice of pie where we are and we have all of these slices to go through and develop ourselves and to see where you are going to be at when this cycle comes to an end it's very very exciting there's all sorts that's it's all about that development but there's there's a lot of movement there's huge movement there's new things that are happening for you um now there is that balance with what i was just talking about with the earth energy and knowing that there's something that is that that has to come to its uh comes to come to its finish like it has to it has to complete so with whatever it is that needs to complete there is the new beginnings that are happening so there's that balancing and there is a lot that's going on there's a lot of that fire energy again with making those decisions there is a lot of balancing out there is a lot of support that is here for you. So call on spirits, call, call on source energy, call on the archangels and to ask for that support because it's always there. It's always there. Now for your hopes, dreams, and fears, I want to say you have a lot of incredibly strong energy. Scorpio, this is the king of pentacles. This is, it's safe to trust. 
this is very abundant, very happy times, like a lot of things that are, are going on for you that are very, very positive with this new energy that's celebrating. There definitely is celebrating that is going to happen for you. Achievements, success that is happening. Success, there's completions, all sorts of new things that are happening for you fast paced energy, the one thing which it comes up as the challenge. But for you, I feel that it's not going to be that much of a challenge there, there will be the um, like having to move through it, and having to kind of feel okay, like I'm on this new I'm in this new energy. And it's just that adapting, it's that adapting. But that would kind of be like the fear aspect of this card, but the hopes and dreams, this is keep believing, keep having that faith, keep knowing, knowing, knowing the Queens. It's like super power, strength of your intuition and that deep knowing, like that belief. That's what's going to keep the momentum going is that you know there's that celebration <sighs> that celebration that success the achievements it's very 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 exciting and for your completion card scorpio you have this six of cups now this six of cups this is family it's love it's reminiscing, but what this is, is an abundance of energy. All of the cups are full. They're so full and abundant. They're fulfilled. So that emotional energy, your energy, that high vibe energy, this is a six year Scorpio. So 2022 equals six. This is extremely high vibe. This is loving, this is compassion, this is being in love energy. Being in love energy is one of the highest energies, highest frequencies that we can be in. So being in love, new relationships, reminiscing, like really feeling the love, reminiscing on like childhood friends. It could also mean children. It could mean children are coming into your life. Family, like, <laughs> such an incredible high vibe card such an incredible card I love this energy <sighs> with all of the potential that this brings with all of the feelings and all of like just that boost of of high vibrational energy this is what I want you to be in what source wants you to be in, what spirit wants you to be in is this love energy, like, like getting really pumped up and saying, I know, I know that everything's going to work out. I know that I'm on a new path. I know that I'm on a path of success. I am so extremely happy for you. This is so incredibly high vibe. This is so incredibly in tune with your energy. You can flow through this. You can feel and feel that fulfillment of that success for yourself, Scorpio, for the month of April. It is so super exciting. I wish that you could feel this real pumped up energy, this incredible high vibe energy for you for this month. I love you all. I thank you so much for showing up for yourself. I thank you for showing up and listening to me. And I thank you so much for all of your support. I love you all. Mwah.